just waiting for it to uh, go live. Here we are. Hi, I'm Andrew Priestley. And um, most people know that anyway. I'm Andrew Priestley, you know who I am. And look, really quick, fast and furious. Um, I have to say it, okay. Hi, Sophia. Um, I have to say it. I'm talking about the money chimp again. Again, the money chimp. Why? Why the hell am I banging on about this stupid book again, yet again? You know, the money chimp, money chimp's amazing because it came out in 2016. And January, it actually, it actually was published in January 2016. And um, I wrote it because um, it's nice to see you too, Sophia. Gee, you're looking good. <laughs> I can't really see you. I'm just saying that. Um, the Money Chip came out in 2016. And uh, I wrote it because I was dealing with so many young professionals. When I say young professionals, I'm meaning... Um, I'm meaning 18 to 28, okay? And these are people who are employed, they're smart, they're clever, uh, they've exited university, um, they are, uh, they've got themselves their first job. In most cases, um, you know, they've landed themselves a professional position. So for example, I was, I was talking to a bunch of, uh, of uh, uh, young, young professionals who, uh, they were working in the finance area, or they were working in medicine, or they were working in law. They were, you know, doing the legal stuff. Hi, Darren. How are you, mate? And um, but the story that I kept hearing all the time was, uh, I've, I'm on this great salary, but I've got no money. I'm broke, right? And uh, so people were asking, well, how do you manage your money? And so uh, I thought, well, I'll, I'll write a book about it. And I, I actually didn't think that what I was going to share was was new or different because this is just what I do. It's been around forever, right? That's what I thought. So over a couple of years, I read a lot of books. I researched over about a hundred and about one hundred and forty three books. Okay, hi Katie, good to see you. Uh, good to see you watching. Uh, Katie, how are the dogs? <laughs> I was in Melbourne, Katie. And a mate of mine has got these two ratty dogs, and I immediately saw Katie say, well, they, they need to talk to you, Katie. But these dogs, mate, they were just running the roost. Anyway, back to the book. So The Money Chimp. So I'm talking to these people. I started reading about 143 books. That was probably about that. It was at least over 140 books. And what I found was I did a little meta-analysis because I've got a science background. And uh, I found that there were... 10 things that you need to do to manage your money, right? And uh, so I'll tell you what they are quickly. Um, actually, look, I'll read it out to you just so that you know, so, so that you're not left any, uh, in any doubt whatsoever. Number one, the five money habits are, this is taken from the money, Jim, earning, spending, saving, investing, and giving. That's the first five. And the money managing skills are monitoring your spending, focusing on what you want to spend your money on and how you can use your money better, reducing your spending, developing your financial smarts, which is financial literacy, and then taking action. So this book covers all that. But why the hell am I still banging on about this? That that was the question. Because I was in Australia last week and I was talking to a bunch of young professionals and the thing that they wanted to talk about was managing their personal finance, right? Um, I care about this a lot. Hi, Susie. I think you were on a train recently, but I, I really, really care about this a lot because I meet so many people, as Ipatios, Tikanis, um, who they're on great wages, they're on good incomes, and yet they've got no cash, right? So um, I did a podcast and it's called Multiply Your Money. It's on Spotify. The book is on Amazon. But what I'm going to do is I thought, look, the only way to get this across is if I actually come and do some Facebook Live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually walk you through this book over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to try and do something every day or thereabouts every day just from the book so that you get it. Um, is this about me making money? Not really. I'm not going to get rich on selling a few books. What I really care about is I care about professionals managing their money. That's what I really care about. It bothers me that people are on good money, have got no cash. You know, they're a couple of pay packets away from, uh, pay days away from being broke, right? Um, the, the, the reality is people have got a lot more money than they realize. As soon as they start doing the skills that I just talked about, like just monitoring your money, you'll discover, shoot, what am I actually spending my money on? 
right? And when I was chatting with these young people, one of them was spending, you know, $200, $200, I was in Australia, $200 every Friday night on alcohol, okay? Now, if you do the math on that 52 weeks, that's a lot of money. That's, you know, that's almost a deposit on a small apartment. But anyway, look, that's all I wanted to talk about today. The money chimp, there's me on the back. There's, there's me. I updated my photo, so it's, it's a more current, more current one. But I'm going to be talking about the money chimp, okay? Um, for no other reason than I really want you to learn how to manage your money, okay? It's not hard. It really isn't. It's not a difficult thing. Um, all I can say is that when you get it under control, life just changes It's in, in, in amazing ways. Okay, That's all I had to say. Um, but watch out. What I'm going to try and do is probably come on. Uh, I'll probably do these early, probably about 8 a.m., I think. That way I can get it out of the way and I've got other things I've got to do. But um, I've got to rush off and be an amazing coach. But... Um, uh, if I do it at 8 a.m., that's when I'm going to probably do it. Now, Sophia's saying, question. Yeah, well, have you got a question, Sophia? Sure. What skills do you need at primary school age? What a great question. Do you know what, Sophia? Um, uh, you, when when I had with my kids, I put up coins, lots of coins into a, into a big tin, and they used to do counting skills from that. So it's to actually handle cash, right? And you know uh, the same sort of skills that you can that you use as an adult are the ones that you use that you can learn as a child. That that it's to get a relative value through handling cash, right? So they they see how much, and they go down the shop and they see have I got enough to buy that? You start training them that way, where they see they see the the correlation between cash and purchasing. That's a really good place to start. Young people to to a person. Um, you know, I said, do you carry cash? And they said, oh, no. Well, I, you know, I, I carry cash, right? So I carry cash with me all the time. And these people had no cash. What they have is plastic cards. And I hate to say it, that when you look at plastic, okay, when you look at plastic, right, what you see is debt. When you open your wallet and you see plastic, your brain equates that with debt. Whereas cash, it, cash it appeals to a part of your brain that goes, oh, yeah, okay, I'm okay. Uh, incidentally, uh, folks, I keep that under lock and key in the bank when I'm not trying to impress you. <laughs> anyway, I hope that helps. Um, there's a lot of great books on what primary school kids can do, but, I, you know, that's probably not a bad one to do a little report on that, Sophia. I might even just tackle that one. It's a great question. Anyway, folks, uh, I don't want to make it too long. I'm going to actually um, also start collecting these, and I'm going to create a YouTube channel, and I'm going to start loading these videos up to that YouTube channel, so it's a resource, and you can come back and look at it. Um, the Money Chimp is on Amazon. It's a good one to have in front of you if, if, if you're doing that, because you'll need a highlighter and a pencil, and I'll walk you through it. We're going to t just take a slow journey through it, but you'll get it. Um, and secondly, if you want to start right now and you can't wait, go on to Spotify, search for Multiply Your Money, and you'll see the podcast is up there. It's doing really well. And please tell people about it, okay? But, um, uh, you know, the really amazing thing, I'll finish on this point. I get an email, I would kid you not, probably one or two a day from people who've read it from all around the world who say, this book changed my life. And that's what I love about it. You know, it's, it, it's really humbling to know that you write a book and it makes a difference makes a difference. Neil Davidson, how are you, mate? Um, sorry, I'm just about to sign off, but you might want to watch it on the replay. It'll be up on Facebook in a moment, and then I'm going to actually convert convert this, download this, and send it across to YouTube so you can go back and use that as a resource all the time. There's no cost to go and watch it on YouTube. There's no cost to look at the podcast on Spotify. Multiply your money, and you can look at the money chimp. Uh, my real gig is business coaching. Hi, Paul. How are you, mate? Um, sorry I didn't get to see you when I was in Melbourne, but uh, um, time got away from me. But um, uh, my real gig is a business coach. That's what I do. Uh, there's Archie. Oh, the amazing Archie. How are you, man? Um, but I, because when I'm talking to people in business, yet particularly when they're staff, this topic gets raised all the time. Victoria Rose says, multiply your money. Buddha Travaskas is watching. Mate, I was just there. I'm just banging on about my book. <laughs> so there we go. Had a had a great time talking to Luke and Fiona. Luke and Fiona certainly understand this to a T. Okay. So um honestly I'm not I'm not 
uh, worried about book sales, honestly. I'm really not. I, what I want is I want to reach as many people as possible with this topic, the money chimp. Uh, this is the stuff that it's really basic. It's bog standard. Rule number one, spend less than you earn. How hard could that be, right? But, uh, you know, as opposed to, you know, gee whiz, you know, can I, um, you know, is somebody going to turn the lights off on me tonight? You know, have I got enough to pay the pay the power bills? Blah blah blah. I meet people. That's what they're asking me about. Okay, this stuff is not not hard. I worked with a, a couple in the UK, big business, uh, husband and wife uh, partnership, running a financial planning company who spend twelve hundred pounds a month on takeaway coffees and food. Takeaways, you know, dining out takeaways, twelve hundred pounds a month, and they said we've got no money. They've got plenty of money. Work out that. Multiply twelve hundred pounds times twelve, and that's what they've got that they could have been putting into something else. You can you can do a lot with that money. Okay. Um, let me finish there. The money chimp. The podcast is on Spotify. It's called Multiply Your Money. There's a hundred and twenty sessions. They are they go for about five minutes. Um, it's just a nice gentle walk through this book. Um, but I hope you like it. Okay. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Eight o'clock. I'm going to try and do these. It, most days I'm going to try and do them at eight o'clock. There's Joanne, the amazing Joanne. Hi, Joanne. It was great to see you in Melbourne. But 8 a.m. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time, GMT, British Summertime. Uh, I'll try and do one every day in the morning and I'll just gently just walk you through this. But if you can't wait, go on to the podcast. Okay. Um, if you've got kids, and I'm talking about adult children, that's a really good place to start. It's a great book to start. Um, I just care about people. You know, it's 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 avoidable. That's the crazy thing about it. You know, money worries are avoidable. They're really avoidable. Anyway, hope that helps. Talk to you soon.